Hello everyone, this is Shrashmi Rakha, bringing you the second theorem of invertible functions. So let's start. So that statement is, if f is a function from a to b and z is a function from b to c, b to invertible functions such that z not f is invertible, then we need to show z not f whole inverse is equal f inverse not z inverse. So, the proof is, first of all, we are given the functions f and z, then to solve z not f of inverse equal f inverse not z inverse, first of all, we need to show that z not f is invertible. So, to prove z not f is invertible, We need to show G not F not F inverse not C inverse equal identity function identity map C and F inverse not Z inverse not Z not F equal I A. To show that Z not F is invertible, first of all we need to show two things. Z not F of F inverse not Z inverse equal I C and F inverse not Z inverse not Z not F equal I A. Now, the first part is this. Now, by definition of composite function, first of all, we change the bracket z not f not f inverse not z inverse. If we take the bracket of f not f inverse, then we get this. Now, since we are given in the theorem that f is a f and z are two invertible functions, therefore we get four things here. f not f inverse equal i b f inverse not f equal i a z not z inverse equal i c and z inverse not z equal i b because by definition of invertible functions we have already discussed that the composite function of the function and the here inverse is nothing but the identity map. Therefore, by definition of invertible functions, we get this. And already we are given that f and z are invertible functions. So here f not f inverse. This will be replaced by i a. Identity map a. Now Z is a function and I A is an identity map and their composite function results Z only. It will be Z not A inverse. Since Z not of I A equal. Again, we finally get Z not G inverse and Z not G inverse is nothing but I C. It is the identity map. I see. Here we have to show that Z not F of F inverse not Z inverse equal I C and the other thing F inverse not Z inverse not Z not F equal I. So one thing is done. Z not F of F inverse not Z inverse equal I C. We are putting it. Now 
for this second part F inverse not G inverse not G of F equal now we can write it as F inverse not G inverse not G of F we are just changing the bracket now Z inverse Z0 is nothing but this is ID because we are given in the statement of the children. Right? This will be equal F inverse not ID not F. Now F inverse not identity map. This will be nothing but F inverse only. F inverse and here of F. Since F inverse not I B equal F inverse. Again F inverse not F will be I A. Identity map in the domain A. Since we are given. Therefore, F inverse not G inverse of G not F equal IA. Since we are done with these two things, therefore I can write that this G not F is invertible. So we are done with the first step. In the statement, f and g are two invertible functions such that g not f is invertible, then we need to show g not f of whole inverse equal f inverse not g inverse. So to prove this theorem, first of all we need to show that g not f is an invertible function. So we are done here. Now we need to show that g not f of Four inverse equal f inverse not g inverse. So here we have g not f of f inverse not g inverse equal identity map IC and this equal identity map I. And since g not f is an invertible function, therefore I can conclude that this is nothing but the inverse of this function. So this is the inverse of g not f. Therefore I can write g not f inverse equal f inverse not g inverse since this is the inverse of the function g not f therefore mathematically i can write g not f inverse equal f inverse not g inverse so this theorem is proved as it is done so that's all about this class thank you for watching the whole video